All right, so if you've been around these parts, if only for a few minutes, you know that I am not the biggest nature person and nature lover, but my kiddos are. My kiddos love um, nature. They love being outside. They love learning about different things. They, they're they the ones with the roly polies in their hands and chasing the stray random rabbits that are around here. And so I wanted to really foster um, this love of nature, even though it's not really my thing. Thankfully, nature's um, workshop contacted me and I know that I've had friends, don't put my address, I know I've had friends in the past such as, oh no babe, we're not going to be eating that <laughs> Like, no, no. Like no. nature. No, no babe. I mean, the crunch, the constant crunch. Okay. Why can't we just show them where your address is so fans can walk mm -hmm. it? No. So, <laughs> I have had friends such as Megan from Pennies and Salt and Katie from Life in the Mundane that have worked with Nature's Workshop in the past and they have talked so highly with them. So they sent us some fun goodies. Let's see what's in here. All right. I'm really excited. I love toys and nature. <laughs> and all things nice. Ooh, all right. So the first thing Samaya is whipping out of the box right now is... And Banana grams. Banana grams. We used to play this in co-op. You used to play co-op? In oh, Florida. In Florida. So they know banana grams. Now, this game, I, the thing about Nature's Workshop is that, yes, they do sell nature stuff, but it's not only nature stuff. They also sell really fun games for the kiddos. So we grabbed this one that we've never played before. Well, I've never played before. It turns out they've played it before. And um, to try and out it's our big brother's favorite fruit, banana. <laughs> and it is Sean's favorite fruit is a banana. So we grab a banana gram. What else? Uh, oh. They also okay. So this goes along with the nature thing. I grab some um, binoculars for my littles. They and me. love like day and night binoculars. They, they love nice like things. this kind of stuff, like putting on binoculars and going out and identifying different. Oh, these are fancy, girl. They're day in the night binoculars. Oh, wow. Tonight. Those look really, really. Look and see this parts for the night vision. Really? This looks like I should not give it to your little siblings to yeah, use this looks at like all. you should give it to me and Sean. Yeah. This looks like more for my older ones. It's kind of cool. Oh, so and it's day ones. and night binoculars. Hold on. They don't fit your eye holes. Oh snap. No, I can use them. This is cool. Oh, this is fun. All right, so we're going to be studying land animals next year. Um, so I'm super Whoa. excited about that. You guys can definitely use those binoculars. And we can, like when we're at the zoo and the birds start flying, we could look like... And identify the different birds. It's yeah, the cool. worst part about it was all the zebra meat around the line. And guess what? They you put the zebra. zebras right in front of the lines and I saw a dead zebra in there. I'm like... Why are there only two zebras left? Then when I looked at the lines, I'm like, they beat their zebras to the line? <laughs> but anyways, sorry, they went to the zoo. Binoculars. What's that? What else is in there? Uh, I'm going to take this tiny thing. It's, uh, ooh, this is for me. Okay, so getting to know our area a little bit better, um, we grabbed a couple of um, pocket guides, okay? And I'm really, really excited about this because summertime daddy's home daddy can handle the nature when i'm not he up to it nature. he loves nature um i'm gonna try more though i'm gonna try to like get out just you know before my kiddos really just to be involved in the experience not necessarily because of my love of nature and who knows maybe i'll develop a love of nature you never Ooh, know kansas birds, so we got kansas trees and wildflowers to this is what we could use our um for our garden yeah so we got Kansas trees and wildflowers. Kansas birds. Kansas birds, which we can use the binoculars for to help identify some of the, the Kansas birds that we have here. And Kansas. Oh, I've seen this bird. Okay. Remember the Canadian, the Canada goose? They've got a lot of Canada goose in, in Kansas. And they have wild turkey? 
Yeah, your dad saw some wild turkey the other day. Oh, they have bald eagles. Okay, so we- I saw, I saw some So this eagles. is kind of cool, because it's like a quick little pocket guide, and they have it on more than just Kansas, so definitely check out the pocket guides for uh -oh. your specific state um, from Nature's Workshop. I'll have their link in the description to their website yes. so you can check it out. Look, they have What's two this? types of bunnies. This is oh, the yeah, one this we is have the ones that, which one's the one that we have at our house? Yeah, this one. You this sure it's one. not this one? No, because they're all hunched up and this one's standing up on Yeah, the that's floor. true, that's true. We have the Eastern Cottontail Bunny. And there's around. also Virginia possums. Was there any snakes? Yes. You should look snakes. at the snakes to see if that was a rattlesnake that we saw the other day. What is snakes? Oh, okay. So, oh, sorry. The Bye. third one that we got is the Kansas wildlife. So oh, that's just all different types of animals. Girls. See these? Which one does it look like? It look like that. Look like that? But the didn't prairie have the, rattlesnake? No, but it it was a bear. It was a baby, so it didn't have the rattler yet. Uh, Remember, it had those tiger stripes. It didn't have these stripes. No. Yeah, we definitely saw a rattlesnake around these parts, but <laughs> fun times. Anyways, stuck. Fine, I'll just do this. Okay, so the Box. next thing is we got. Some blocks so like I said they don't only have nature stuff they have other things as well so we grab some some blocks for the kiddos we love they love building and love um, playing. playing and making up imaginary worlds and all the things and um, this summer I'm not changing our screen time rules um usually we do a lot more screens over the summer but i'm not changing our screen time rules so we need a lot more hands-on games yes. and stuff like that so blocks are always a good option for us and so we got these i don't know if you can see it we got these like wood blocks um that are made out of like natural wood this one Okay, so this I got for my son, my older son. He's 11 years old. I got the kids robotics. So that's another thing that they do at Nature's Workshop. So besides, um, what, okay, baby, you gotta give me a second. Okay, so besides just, um, just um, nature stuff, they also do um, games and they also do fun toys and stem stuff so like the like the robotics and different things like that they also have i don't think i have any but they also have like if you're doing apologia and other types of science kits um that they have those as well but anyways robotics I, we got the doodling robot and the tabletop robot which is he probably couldn't Really it's for my son to build over the summer like these are fun like activities for him to do because he's not really into building with wood blocks or so toys. <laughs> or toys so these can you pass me the robotics so these are would be like a fun thing that he can actually do and work on um during the summer which is going to be a requirement for him is to do something creative so I'm really, really excited about these stem stuff. And he wants to be an engineer. So if he wants to be an engineer, he's got to start building, right? Okay, go ahead. What's next? Uh, maybe he can make a robot that takes the poop out. So like I said, they also have toys. We got this fun little dinosaur for our Shy Shy, my five-year-old, who's obsessed with dinosaurs. So we got him um, a soft dino to play with to add to his dinosaur collection. Plus, its legs won't break off like the other one. And it's sturdy, so his legs won't break off like the other one. That's what she said. Yep. Oh, this is for me. Okay. Um, let's, let's. Next. Next thing is these um, to go along. Like I said, Shy Shy is really into dinosaurs. So let's see what we got Shy Shy in here, Samaya. So to go along with more of the dinosaur themed things, we got him, God created the dinosaurs of the world, the collector book with stickers. And so this will be like a fun thing for him to do over the summer to dive deeper into dinosaurs and all the things and how dinosaurs relate to God's word. I'm super excited about that for him. Um, and then this, this is the dinosaur 
magnetic dinosaurs, which he, I think it's just, a, um, they give you the magnets. the magnets, but then they also give you like a, a, scene. a scene. There you go, baby. Uh, You're right. Thank you for helping me with my words. I could not get that word out at all. So they give you the scene and they give you the magnets and they also take this down real good. <laughs> so, okay. There you go. Okay. So, this is like a fun activity for him. He's, he likes, he's good playing by himself and using his imagination. So, it's got the scene and then the scene is, no, it's one. So, and the scene is magnetic and then he's got a bunch of dinosaurs to add to it and have fun and yeah, he'll enjoy that. No. And I love that everything is all compacted together. Yeah. So I could just whip them out for him to play with. <laughs> Thank you for the side effects. We also got another magnetic one, Ocean um, Adventures, for his little sister, his three-year-old sister, um, because anything he can do, she can do better. So she always wants to play what he's playing. And Samaya will play with both of those things while they're taking a nap. The um, other thing that we got is the Backyard Science Discovery Workbook. And I got this for Samaya to work on the different things that she can discover right in our backyard. And um, do her own like little science um, experiments and things like that. And activities club. as... He starts, that's true. You should start a science club. That would be fun. Nature club. She's like, I should start a science club or a nature club this summer. I'm here for it. Let's get creative. So that could be one of the creative things that she works on, um, which will be one of the requirements for them this summer is to do say, something. Say, 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 say. Yes, babe. Like, like I said, this summer I'm going to have them working on one fun thing and this, um, this one. I'm sorry, one creative thing every single day. And so this is her creative thing that she can work on. Duh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Like I said, she is my, like, nature person. So the next... <laughs> Stop doing these weird things. I don't know how it goes. The next thing that we got is this wildlife safari card game. Um, I got this more so for her and her brother to be working on together. Big brother or little brother? Your big brother. It's a two a player card game but it's for seven and older so it's for her and her 11 year old brother to play with so or if the little kids get it nobody <laughs> next thing we got at this in this box it's oh mine. my gosh is the intro to engineering Please. science kit for ages five to seven the, yeah, this and is um yes this is for you and shy and sean not for me. And Shy. Sorry. Uh -huh. You and Shy. You're right. Forgot Person. one of our boys' names. Uh, I always forget my children's names. Well, I'm going to need an engineer baker Bob course. Yes, because she likes to bake. So I got this fun little science kit and engineering kit for them to play with since our big brother is going to be doing engineering the next year. I feel like in order to encourage him, they can work on some fun science stuff too. So I'm like, I love all these things from Nature's Workshop. Like, they're yeah, just, it's them. good for like Go fun <laughs> for kids as well as like in learning at the same time. So I'm like here Happy. for it. Last thing, and this is for her as well. Yes. This is the Butterfly Arts and Craft Fun Kit. It's for you and Sila. And uh, <laughs> Wait, you can be in charge. You butterflies? can be in charge of it for, though, but it's for you and her. Uh, so this is like more about butterflies pretty much. So it comes with butterflies and flowers to paint or color, four stained glass coloring sheets, over 100 stickers, including many that glitter. Yay, glitter. I hope the glitter stays on the stickers. Um, six sturdy pre-cut stencils and 11 by 16 and a half inch color your own poster definitely check out nature's workshop plus i will have everything linked in the description exactly where you need to go to check out all these fun things yeah. we love shopping small and encouraging small businesses and um i love their their like tagline which is enjoying Shops. god's world of nature so yeah right. definitely check them out um 
I think that it's just a wonderful way to bring in nature into your home and offer that opportunity for your kiddos to learn more, even if it's not chill thing. So check out Nature's Workshop. Let me know what y'all get, what you guys are getting in the comments. And tell until next works. And tell me if you like it. Right. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bunny. 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 You see a bunny? Yes. Yeah, that's a common tail. You think so? Yeah. I checked the nature side. Eating. And it's in there. He's so cute.